Always, good morning. Always good Adam. to talk to you. Good to chat to you. I love that. Be happy. Great revenge. It That's is. my new motto. Love it. <laughs> it's honestly, it really, really works. It's like, yeah. just don't care about your life. Yeah, um, I, I've exactly. seen Ricky Gervais is very good at that because he's just constantly, yeah. whenever people attack him and criticise him, and he, he goes for it on social media as well, doesn't he? And he did, uh, during lockdown, he did all those sort of, uh, uh, you know, just two camera sort of chats with people. His, yeah. his whole thing is, I've earned millions upon millions of pounds. You can't take that money away from me. I I, I do exactly what I want. Yeah. I say exactly what I want. And I don't care what you think. I wish so many more people were like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, when will people realise he can't get any better? I mean, he's at the top of the tree. I mean, they're trying to, like, critique someone who's at the top of his game. I mean, what, what are you trying to add to this? What are they going to... What are they trying to do with it? All they're doing is giving him more encouragement well, it's more publicity it. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's I mean it was very obvious when they're on social media um, a, a, a video started doing the rounds of, uh, mm -hmm. of pre pretty much some of his opening remarks after he's used mm -hmm. the C word toward the audience rather hilariously yeah. Um, yeah. but he um, he was uh, um, um, he's, I mean, he's basically having a wonderful poke at trans activists not at trans people trans activists mm -hmm. um, very yeah. different groups of people by the way um, by effectively trying to sort of be woke and, and, and basically say to about people who when you talk about you know and you say oh you know he, that's a man not a woman no that's a trans woman you know why, yeah. why do you think it's a woman it's like you know well, a man but well because of he's got a penis and he says her penis yeah, yeah. and things like that. Exactly. I, mean, I mean it's just yeah. one and then he calls people you know don't be a bigot I mean, and and he, yeah. you can see he is laughing himself yeah. at the madness of it all but what's yeah. hilarious is I mean but the, you know you've got pink news yeah. um, very big on trans activism they've attacked him for bigotry and as yeah. he's said in his defence well not in urgent yeah. his defence but his whole point is they don't get the joke yeah, that's the thing. Look, he's, as we said, look, he's he's the master of doing this sort of thing where you've got to, and this is the problem, people don't separate the comedian from the actual joke. They're not, look, yeah. he's not, He's not really, he's not running a political party. He's not he's not trying to like run a TED talk or a conference. He's a comedian. We're gonna get to a stage, Julia, where people are gonna have to start putting warning. This show contains comedy yes. because it's got to yes. a point where people don't realize it, he's he is exactly as you said there. He's picking up the points to show about the uh, the lunacy or the idiocracy between the points of like when we're doing everyday society, and that's what makes a great comedian. Yeah. I think. And look, the thing is. We wouldn't be talking about this today if it wasn't for people like Ricky that were pushing these topics. That's the whole thing. He's getting these discussions open. Yeah, the absolutely. People are, yeah, and the people who are offended by this are the same people. You've got these groups of people who are offended by people who are trans. You think, look, just let everyone get... If, if it doesn't affect you, just let people get on with it. Yeah, and I mean, there's, there's lots of comedy I yeah. don't find particularly funny. But yeah. So I don't laugh. I don't go to their comedy shows. I don't watch their specials on Netflix. And yeah. I get on with my life. I don't really know where that bothers people. Now, the argument here is... And he makes, yeah. makes this point during the show about how people are confusing... Um, and he was talking about people he's been criticised of punching down. Mm -hmm. And uh, Stonewall said this is punching down is never funny. And he accuses him of making mm -hmm. fun of trans people. Again, not trans people. He's not doing that at all. They're not the they are mm -hmm. not the subject of his actual comedy there. Um, he, he's but but he's, he said they're confusing, you know, punching metaphorically with physically punching people yeah. and how people don't yeah. understand that words are words and violence yeah. is violence. They're not the same thing. Yeah. And, and, and the thing of look about I. Uh, Look, as a comedian, I always aim you, you punch up. But the thing is, with Ricky Gervais, he's punching every subject. So you can't say that he's punching down on this. I mean, if you look at everything that he covers, he, he attacks every social group, which I think is great. As a as a comedian, I would look up to him and think, yeah, well done. Well, well played. You know I mean, I, I was great. watching it with my husband. We, we needed a bit of cheering up that day. I said, you know what, yeah. Ricky Gervais got a new special out. That everyone's angry <laughs> about it. This is, this is, if this isn't aimed at us, we're, if we're not the target viewer, I don't know who is. And, yeah. um, and he said, he, my husband said at the end, that was like Ricky Gervais was writing that show and he had a bingo card in front of him and he literally was going, yep, Got that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Muslims, yeah. Rape, yeah. Uh, disabled kids, yeah. 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 And he did everything. I mean, we know it wasn't quite in Jimmy Carr, his darkest, you know, humour oh, territory. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's but that was like, deliberately yeah. trying to be offensive. Because that's kind of thing yeah. Mickey Gervais is. But he's 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 mocking he's mocking the people who I think he he's right, who pretend to yeah. get upset by this stuff. Yeah. And 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 that's and that's why he's so good because he is playing 
on people's stupidity where we, yes. we go, oh my goodness, we're, uh, we should be getting offended by this or we should be, and he's not. He's saying, look, this is, this is everyday topics that he's making in such a great light yeah. that you're thinking, and, okay, this is And can you can you joke about anything? Because I'm I I got a right old going over on Twitter yeah. the other day and I still stub my ground. That's you know something about rape. Have you ever laughed at a rape joke? Yeah, um, yeah, I have. I've laughed at lots of good rape jokes. I don't laugh at a not funny rape joke. And people looking absolutely yeah. horror. Yeah, I've laughed at Holocaust jokes. So well if you'd been raped, if your daughter had been raped, would you be doing well, no, but I wouldn't make a joke to her about it yeah. or you know, dark <laughs> humour is a really important part of sort of of, of certainly British humour, isn't it? Well, um, exactly. I laugh Look. we laugh about everything. And I know people, you know, yeah. you, be, you lose a family member to dementia. They laugh about dementia. People with yeah, yeah, cancer laughing about cancer. Laughing at horrible things is is kind of part of our psyche. That's the whole point. Look, look, I I, I know people who probably been in the supermarket and the shelves fall on them and they've lost a family member. It doesn't mean you can't start joking about supermarkets anymore. You go, oh my God, I can't. Uh, someone fell down a manhole. All right, I'm not going to talk about walking anymore. I'm not going to talk about yeah. it. Of course you've got to. I mean, that's the whole, and that's the only way you're going to, we're only going to uh, get on with it and win this battle is that, you know, you think, right, let's attack everything so that yeah. eventually there is no more taboos. It, exactly. It's just comedy. Uh, Patrick Monaghan, really good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Really quick. <laughs>